So I just wanted to get on here and talk a little bit about <laughs> why my business failed. And one thing I do want to say is your business truly fails when you 100% give up on it. You know, um, I'm going to just give a few reasons. Hold on. Whew. I'm going to give a few reasons on why my business flopped. You know, um, I heard a long time ago, it takes 10 years to get like a solid business. You know, it takes a, a good 10 years to have a solid business. And um, the first few years, I'm gonna say, was just a learning experience. I learned a lot and I'm truly grateful for the things I did learn. But let's jump right into it. So one of the, one of the main reasons why my business failed was because of inconsistency. Inconsistency was my major downfall. I was pretty much posting whenever I wanted to, making content whenever I wanted to. I didn't really have like any structure around my business. I didn't have any structure around my business and I didn't really have like a solid, solid business plan. No, this is not off, wow. But um, yeah, so pretty much I didn't have um, any structure. I didn't have a proper plan. I was winging it, doing things how I felt was best. Um, and that definitely ruined me in the long run because I was the type like to just go with the flow, like, it is what it is like like it's gonna happen if it's meant to happen it's meant to happen but honestly when you don't have any structure in your plan it's gonna go to shit i mean maybe i'm not gonna speak for nobody else for me me not having a proper plan didn't work out for me i'm someone who really needs to have things structured kind of planned out not all the way planned out to the t but just enough to kind of let me know what's next versus guessing what's next and i think that was like one of my biggest issues just being inconsistent because i was winging it i like realistically was winging it and i don't like how that came out you know winning it works for some people but for me it it didn't really work like if there was no benefit in it for me and the thing with being inconsistent is in today's world technology is so fast and people's um attention span is so short that we're all worried about the next big thing you know so being inconsistent for me definitely was a disadvantage because you know, when I started my business, like when I started, I had a buzz. People, I had people's attention, people were interested in it. And I started right before the pandemic where people were selling, like where having an online business was a thing. Um, I started right in 2019. So when I wasn't inconsistent, people were on to the next thing. Like you know, especially with Amazon setting a standard as far as like shipment being delivered in a certain amount of time and really getting the product to the customer as quickly as possible, really figuring out where I went wrong and examining the inconsistency in my business. I figured that if I would have just stayed consistent and really had a well thought out plan my business would have been where i expected it to be in the first place but i got comfortable i got lazy i was just going with the flow like it is what it is it's gonna happen some way somehow 
but God is going to find a way as long as you're putting the action to it. If you're not putting in no type of action, you're not going to have any type of worthy results. And it came to a point where my results were becoming trash. Like I just... I became disappointed in myself because my results weren't where they once were. So going into the next topic, another reason why my business flop is me trying to sell any and everything. My whole concept of my business is sleepwear. So that consisted of lingerie, loungewear, and pajamas. Sleepwear, whatever it is. And when I originally started, my main focus was strictly lingerie. I was so in love with lingerie. It boosted my feeling. I had like a certain type of confidence when I put on lingerie and I wanted to share it with the world, you know? So that was my main focus when I started my business. But because I felt like I could sell any and everything, I branched off into loungewear and sleepwear, which wasn't a problem. The problem was I lost focus of lingerie and I didn't just put my 100% all into my lingerie. Instead, I kind of put 25 here, 25 here, 50% here into lingerie pajamas and loungewear and that messed me up because my focus was all over the place it was like this is cute I want to sell this I like that I'm going to sell this Ooh, I think that could sell I want to sell that versus focusing on my lingerie versus building up my clientele and really figuring out my target audience which i had a concept of but it's the difference of having an idea of your target audience versus actually having that target audience you know so my ideas in my mind was all over the place and i just wanted to sell anything sleepwear anything you could sleep in i wanted to sell anything you can just chill in i wanted to sell and it ruined me in the long run because I lost focus on my original concept of my brand which is accepting your body being comfortable in lingerie and not being not wearing lingerie necessarily for anybody else but really wearing it for yourself and really accepting your flaws because I once had a really big issue or a problem with accepting my body and being comfortable in my being comfortable in my body but when i put on lingerie or some cute loungewear whatever it is i feel good like man dang like you're tripping you look good you feel good like let's do good and let's be good and let's be a better version of yourself you know so that's what faulted me to just trying to sell any and everything I could sleepwear. Like if you could sleep in it, I, I was trying to sell it. So now going into this next chapter of really focusing on what I want to sell, it's definitely a balance. You know, I'm not in a rush to just sell any and everything. I really want to put my message out there and really stand for something versus just standing for any and everything you know so that was a big downfall and you know I'm glad I learned what I could and you know move forward from just trying to sell any and everything so in comparison was another um downfall of mine I caught myself constantly comparing to other individuals and just trying to see what they did, how they became successful, what they did and what it took to kind of get to the position they were currently at. And I was so focused on comparing myself to other people that I didn't take any time to actually congratulate myself or I pat myself on the back 
for how far I've come. And a lot of the times when you're focused on other people, you tend to forget the bigger picture of your own journey. And that's something that happened to me. I just was caught in other individuals' reality that weren't my reality. It may have seemed good. It may have looked good. And it was something that I definitely wanted. But it 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 just gave me a false reality because I was living through someone else's reality versus just being inspired by somebody's reality. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, seeing other individuals and seeing their accomplishments and kind of being motivated and inspired by it. I kind of caught myself like living through other people and not in like a bad way, but just in a way that it was just caught up. I was just caught up in just the success that wasn't mine and just trying to just compare that success with my success and then just doubting myself like, dang, like they're doing this, like I can't do this. In reality, I'm comparing my one year journey, two year journey to their eight year journey, 10 year journey, shit, 15, 20 year journey. Like they've been doing this and I just got overwhelmed with emotion and seeing, just seeing the end results versus realizing, hey, they started somewhere. They started with nothing and you have something so just be appreciative of what you have just be appreciative of what you have and what you have going on versus just trying to fill my happiness with their success if that makes sense I don't know that I don't know if that makes sense but yeah comparison was definitely um a killer of mine I was just caught up in a reality that wasn't necessarily my reality and that goes on to like my next topic with doubt I started doubting myself really really bad like I just of course that came with other people's success and then comparing their success with where I was at and then just saying just telling myself like I don't have what it takes or you don't have this and in reality like for what I learned and what I was doing like I should like I should have been a lot more happy because I honestly accomplished a lot with just learning with little to no resources and discovering a own path of mine and in, in my own journey. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling on, but this video is just, just to just hold myself accountable and just to tell myself like my business only fails if I 100% give up on it and I'm far from giving up on my business. Like I don't care how long it takes me. I'm going to see this through to the end. Like, I just I just can't. Like, I will not be 50 years old or 60 years old saying, like, well, I started this business and, you know, it was good in the beginning and then I just let go of it. Like, mm -mm. no, I can't. Like, I'm just... Like, I will do any and everything it takes. And right now, I'm just taking a step back and literally just resetting my time. Just resetting my my journey. Like, I, I just want to reset and really just... I just want to give myself that opportunity to really accomplish something that is much bigger than myself. I'm at a point where 
I have really like no fucks to give and I don't care how I feel. I just know where there's a will, there's a way. And I've been, okay, so I don't know what I'm saying. My mind is a little all over the place. So let me just get my mind right. Let me get through some of this hair and I'll be right back with y'all. So I just wanted this video to be about me sharing some of the reasons why my business failed. I am glad that I did go through these emotions. Um, it made me realize that doubt and fear is just an excuse, an excuse not to go forward. And I used that excuse for too long that I'm at the point where I don't care. I don't care how scared I am. I don't care how unprepared I am. I'm gonna just give it my all. And I had to sit down with those emotions and really, really learn from those emotions. And I learned that they're just emotions. Like they are just emotions. And that, like, like those emotions, definitely crippled me in ways that I that I regret because if I just would have just pushed those emotions to the side and kept going I would have been a lot further than I am now but I you know it is what it is everything happens for a reason I feel like we have different realities and different outcomes and you know this is just one of the outcomes that i chose to deal with and i have to deal with it you know deal with the consequence but besides that i'm grateful for this journey i'm grateful that i got to learn to learn the things that i did learn as far as what not to do and what to do with the business um again like i'm not giving up on this business this is something i'm truly passionate about and I'm just getting started. Like the first couple of years of my business was just a learning experience. Now it's more of an execution stage. Like I'm just executing and I'm really going to be very intentional with my business and, and intentional with how I go about certain things. Like I'm not going to be selling things just to sell it. I'm not going to do things just to do it. Like everything's going to be intentional like there's no rush like this is a marathon and i've realized that over the course of years like take my time and i rather take my time and make sure that i'm happy with the results versus rushing it and just putting any and everything just putting anything out there like mm -mm. my name is on the line and i refuse to just have anything attached to my name like no but that's it and again your business only fails when you 100% give up like if you are still putting your all into your business even if it's one percent five percent you're still putting that percentage into your business you're winning like slow progress is better than no progress and I rather slowly build myself up to where I want to be versus just looking and comparing to where I should be, you know, but that's it. I'm gonna wrap this video up. Bye.